Now ISO on your camera, first thing you're wondering is probably what it stands for. Well, ISO stands for the International Standardization Organization. Now I'm going to interrupt myself there. As of editing this video, I discovered that the ISO is actually the International Organization for Standardization. And after a bit of digging on Wikipedia, apparently ISO is not an acronym because it wouldn't be <laughs> standardized across different languages. So they just derived it from the Greek word isos meaning equal the more you know i just wanted to clarify that so i don't go around spreading um fake news now that might sound a little weird because it doesn't sound remotely related to photography so the iso referring to the organization as you may or may not already know defines a set of international standards for a bunch of subjects so that can range from the internationally standard way for brewing a cup of tea to the sensitivity of film now the ISO scale is used to rate how sensitive a particular type of film stock is to light. And it is a linear scale, meaning if you double the sensitivity of the film stock, the ISO value would also double along with it. Now this is really convenient because light is measured in stops. And in case you don't know how stops of light works, I have an earlier video explaining just that. So now that most cameras are digital nowadays, the ISO rating still stands. It functions similarly back to in the film days, not that film doesn't exist now, to denote how sensitive an image sensor is to light and it matches the film ISO sensitivity measurements. So ISO 400 on your digital camera would mean it's as sensitive to light as an ISO 400 film stock would be. Now in the digital age, ISO can be adjusted and changed on the fly to obtain correct exposure, unlike back in the film days whereby you would be stuck with whatever ISO was the film you loaded into the camera. So digital sensors allow the changing of ISO by modifying the amount of amplification or gain that's applied to the analog image signal. So this signal is basically what the sensor outputs after it reads the light that hits it. So when you think about it, ISO functions similarly to adjusting the volume on a music player. It just changes how much the signal is amplified. Now when we amplify a signal too much, whatever noise that's present becomes amplified along with it and becomes more and more noticeable, similar to how you would start noticing a hiss if you turn up the volume on your music player too high. In the case of imaging, you will start to notice higher amounts of noise or grain at higher ISOs. So that's pretty much it on ISOs. If you have any questions or any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. If there's something else you would like me to explain, let me know what that is in the comment section as well. So that's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.